Hello there and welcome to part two of the video about a set of Tom Stewart Frank Jowell irons. In this part I'll take the clubs to the course and play some holes with them. Here's a quick look at the clubs in question. The Forgan 2 wood, Tom Stewart Frank Jowell 2-8 to eight irons, a 1930s sand iron and a similar vintage Spalding G model putter. I'm going to start on the second hold, hopefully play six and see how we go. So have a very quick look at the clubs. Here they are with the lofts. The irons are pretty typical of the time with a very weak eight iron of 50 degrees. I'm going to play bogey competition, match play against the course with rules as shown here. Starting on the par three and I'm hitting the six iron. Little bottom groovy and a push to the right. Come up a bit short. Not the greatest start. And straight away, I'm left with a chip on my hands out of the rough. But I actually get it, get it really well. My chipping has been improving a lot lately. And I'm left with this tapping to win the hole. Par net birdie. Even I don't miss those. So one up. Next hole with the two wood. Nice clear day today. But rather than blocking it into the right hand bunkers, this time I've hooked it into the roof down the left. Chopping out with a six iron, I get a reasonable uh, hit on the ball. But I've still got 214 yards to go, so I just hit a four iron trying to get it down towards the green. And I get a, a nice straight shot. Leaves me uh, this one, and I play the eight iron, short pitch. Get it onto the green, but well short of the flag, which is at the back of the green. And here I've got a put for a par, which would be a half because I don't get a shot on this hole. And this was looking good until the last last few rolls. So that's a, a lost hole, but a simple tap in for a bogey. On to the next two wood again. can't understand why Shot Trader didn't pick that one up. Here I am, miles from the uh, green and I'm just chopping it out with a 5 iron. Still a long way, I ambitiously tried a 3 iron and another horrible Healy hook. Exactly the same swing as I did with my tee shot. I played a six iron next, but uh, forgot to press record, which was lucky because it was yet another bad shot. The Arthur Young ten iron. See how that short game's going. Yeah, still pretty good. But I'm afraid I've already lost the hole, so that was just uh, tidying up really. And I've got this for a seven. And in she goes. On to the next. Two wood again. Bit of a low one, but it, uh, it goes a reasonable distance. Leaves me 180 yards. And I take the three iron. Decent hit. But it uh, comes up short, it's a cold day and the ball isn't just flying like it uh, would do normally. So again I've got a short game shot from out the rough. And I thought I'd played that really well but it just uh, took off on its second bounce. And it's left me quite a long one for the par put. Which I need to win the hole because I get a shot here. No. Nope. So this for the half, it's going by a little bit further than I'd have liked. But in it goes, hole halved, and I'm still one down. I was waved through on the next hole by the group in front, which is a shame because it's a, a short par three where I get a shot, so I've got a chance of uh, picking up a win on that one. Frank Joel, two iron. Let's see how this goes then. I got it airborne, just cut across it a bit and it was a bit of a weak fade. 
left me down here. Right, I'm going to attempt the ridiculous here. I've got 160 to the front. I'm going to try and go through that little gap there with a five eye with a bit of cut. So I need to get it up quickly and cut it. I don't recommend this shot if you're in a competition. In fact, it's a bit foolhardy, full stop really. Now this is YouTube, as they say. And would you believe it, I've only pulled it off. One of the best shots I've hit all year. Well, I hope that's shown up on the shot tracer because that's hit the green. Best shot I've hit for ages. As you can tell, I was chuffed to bits with that one. Left me this putt for a birdie. And as it was getting near, it looked like it would go in, but it just didn't quite have enough pace to hold its line. So this one for a par, net birdie. And that squares the match. On to the last hole. All square. No shot here, unfortunately. Playing from the level with the white tee. Hit a decent shot. Here I hit four iron. Caught it well, but it didn't go as far as it had liked. Only went about 150 yards, I think. And left me 160. I took four iron again. Caught this one better, but dragged it badly to the left. Well, the distance was great, um, pin high, but way to the left. I've now got a chip over a bunker. Let's see how good my improving short game really is. I need to up and down this. Yes, it's shots like this that really uh, show whether you're improving or not. A bit of jeopardy involved. Yeah, I've got some way to go. Still work to be done. The good old Arthur Young Sonning Golf Club 10 iron. Yep, bunker shot. Need to hold it to halve the match. I played it pretty well, to be honest. Pretty good effort. If only I'd gone in the bunker straight away rather than behind it. So this for a six. Match is already lost. One down. But it'd be nice to hold this one for a, a sandy up and down. And we do. There we go. So match lost. One down. How did the clubs perform then? I was very happy with the two wood. Apart from the third hole where I seemed to temporarily lose the ability to swing a club at all. The irons, I'm always a little bit unsure about this style of iron. Some shots, they just feel a bit dead off the face, almost wooden. I'm not sure whether that's the design of the head, or maybe it's the shaft, I don't know. The putter, I got on very well with. Good for squaring it up to get the line, and I got the pace pretty well as well. So overall, the clubs were good. As for the scoring, uh, I lost the match by one hole, which wasn't a total disaster. Um, I'd like to have uh, done better than that, but you can't win them all. As far as the playing against my handicap went, I was two over my handicap. So I scored 10 Stableford points from 12, which would have been playing to my handicap, assuming 36 points is my handicap. Well, there we go. That's another playing video completed. And hopefully I've shown that old clubs are playable by even average mediocre golfers like myself. And blades aren't impossible for us to hit. Well, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.